there are some crazy amazing news from OpenAI. The most important news is that OpenAI starting today is going to let you fine tune GPT 4.0. This is not an open model. Fine tuning was one of the most popular requests of GPT 4.0 and OpenAI is going to let developers fine tune. And they've also got a very compelling case study for you to believe that fine tuning is important, which we will see shortly. OpenAI is also offering 1 million training tokens per day. Every day, they're going to let you train up to 1 million tokens for free. And I think this is a tremendous pressure from Google because Google has made you fine tune Gemini 1.5 flash for free. And OpenAI has gone and said, okay, I'm not going to just let you fine tune my below average model, which is GPT-40 mini for free. I'm going to let you fine tune my best model, GPT-40, probably like one of the best models on the planet for free until September 23rd. So this is only 1 million tokens per day. That means it actually restarts every day, which is quite amazing. So according to OpenAI, that you can get a better performance by fine tuning GPT-40 with custom data set. So now what is that better performance is the primary question a lot of people usually have. And we have gone through this uh, multiple times before. But one of the main important thing is if you have got a domain specific uh, data set, imagine the base model has got English data, of course, like everything inside is English token. So maybe you have got a legal data or maybe you have got a medical data and you want to have that knowledge inbuilt rather than using RAG every time. So that is a very good use case for fine tuning. And the second thing is uh, your brand or uh, your style is something different. So there is a steerability that is required every time you prompt. So because of that, you prompt with a lot of tokens, which will increase your cost and also increase your latency in which the model can respond back. That is the structure and tone of responses which uh, you can steer and control through fine tuning. These are a couple of use cases when you have to do fine tuning. But again, OpenAI, like I said, has got a much more compelling reason. Sometime back, or probably very recently, a couple of weeks back, we came across a new software solution that is called Genie from a company called Cosine. In fact, I guess I had made a video saying that this is a Devin killer. So Devin, is an automated system which can create, fix, deploy software solutions for you. All you have to go do is one line of prompt. But Devin is not still out yet for a lot of people. It's still like a closed solution. You need to be on waiting list. But Cosine Genie came as still under waiting list, but came with a much higher score on something that is called SWE Bench. Now, SWE Bench, like I said at the start of this, that video, has got around 2200 questions. And Genie holds a state of the art score of 30% on SWE Bench, on which Devin had solved only 5% of questions, which is on 500 questions, not 2200 questions. Now, OpenAI took that and then created a new benchmark on top of it which is SWE Bench Verified Benchmark. And Genie is the top scorer on that, like 43.8%. Now, what is Genie? That is the most important question. Genie is the solution from this company called Cosine, which is nothing but a fine tune of GPT-40 model. So basically, they have taken Genie and fine tuned it on real software engineering examples. And we also remember, like if you remember that video, one of the things that the Cosine team had pointed out was that Genie didn't know what is a mistake. And with the fine tuning further later in, where they actually introduced errors and then made them fine tune. This is ridiculous, actually. If you see this benchmark, Devin could probably be a much better system. I'm not sure about it. But rather than using a GPT-40 model for any agentic behavior, it seems that fine tuning could give you totally different result. And Cosine Genie proves that because OpenAI now wants you to fine tune. And there is a fine tuning dashboard 
where you can go fine tune with the UI or you can also fine tune using the API. And this is going to be available for all the developers. GPT-40 fine tuning is not going to be under waiting list. And they have also have got the rates. So GPT-4 fine tuning training costs $25 per million tokens. And after you fine tune, the model that OpenAI is going to host for you, the fine tune model, the inference cost is 3.75 per million. So it's like $3, less than $4 and $15 for uh, output token. So for 1 million tokens, $15 is output token and $4 is the input token. Remember that this is the best model from OpenAI. This is a flagship model from the OpenAI. And let me know if you want me to put together a separate fine tuning tutorial. But the reason that OpenAI has given with Cosine is compelling. And they've got another uh, example, which is Distil, an AI solution partner to Fortune 500 company. And Distil has scored the top in terms of the text to SQL benchmark. I mean, this is one of the most prominent use cases in enterprises. Most of the companies in the world that you come across would have an RDBMS system, which stands for Relational Database Management System. And most of these companies have got a bunch of analysts or data analysts, data scientists, SQL admins writing SQL code in and out every single day. Now, text to SQL is a hot topic. There are some startups just predominantly doing only text to SQL. And what OpenAI is claiming here is that the fine-tuned version of GPT-40 has achieved an accuracy of 71.83% on leaderboard across different tasks like query reformulation, intent classification, chain of thought, self-correction. And as you can see here, you've got like the recap plus Gemini, the second position and uh, on test data set. On test data set, it has got like 69% and uh, the, the fine tuned version of GPT-40 has got 71.83% and the TikTok company, I think that is what is uh, ByteDance. I think they have got like 68% and uh, this is like 33 billion parameter model and uh, you have got like another model from IBM research and the human performance with data engineers and database students, it's 92%. So which is quite in um, interesting to see the vast difference between humans and also the machines uh, i i did not expect i thought like uh, data um, analytics or uh, text to sql could be much easier for machines to automate but yeah to my surprise this is shocking but anyways uh, if you or your organization wants a fine-tuned model this is the best time to try out this model before september 23rd see if it helps see uh, monitor if your cost is going to come down and um, because that's what OpenAI promises, like uh, all the time that you spend, all the cost that you spend in fine tuning is also supposedly going to reduce your cost, even though you're going to pay more money uh, in terms of um, the the model in itself, because it's a fine tuned model. But um, but yeah, I, I, this is an excellent news um, if you're going to build a startup and if you want to have a moat, which everybody has almost talked about until at this point. Because you don't want to be just another GPT wrapper company if you want to have a moat. That's what people say. So if you want to have moat, then you have to do fine tuning. But the catch here is that if you do fine tuning, you're stuck with GPT-4 or you're stuck with OpenAI ecosystem. So it's a very clever move, uh, something that Google did a while back and uh, OpenAI has done it for their best model. Uh, let's see how it goes. See you in another video. Happy prompting.